this shit! This horribly unfunny episode of Triple THS is brought to you by DraftKings.com! What's up, my fans? I'm the Assassin's Creed 12 of Mixed Martial Arts, Tommy Toehold! And just when you thought the shit couldn't go down any more than it's already gone down, the shit goes downer! Yesterday, as I mentioned on the show, the Bjorn Bunch planned on making an announcement that would shake up the entire industry! And in a shock to absolutely no one, their surprise announcement was that they were forming a Fighters Association! The third such organization in existence, and the second announced this year! This new group is called the MMAAA! And as someone who uses excessive repeated letters in their own product, I fully approve of this name! The Fighters will serve on the board of this group, with Bjorn Rebney as merely an advisor, which is kinda like having Bowser as the advisor on keeping Princess Peach safe. You think that was the only news yesterday? You are wrong as a motherfuck! Conor McGregor has been licensed to box in the state of California! What the fuck?! Don't get your hopes up for a Mayweather bout, though! Floyd hasn't fought in California since the Bush administration, he turns 40 in February, if he beats Conor, he beat an MMA fighter, if he loses to Conor, he lost his perfect record to an MMA fighter, his career earnings are close to $700 million, and there are only so many islands you can buy before everything just feels feels meaningless. In other news, Sage Northcutt has started a war on apples! He is absolutely fucking these things up in ways I didn't expect a human could. Sage issued a challenge on social media to see if anyone could rip an apple in half with their bare hands! Then celebrity Chrissy Teigen randomly really wanted Sage to smash an apple for her birthday! And he did! Fuck that apple, I guess! Let's talk to some people! This is a very big day for us today, Tommy. We are proud to be a part of mmm ah. So is that the official name, or can I call it MMAAA, MMAAA, Double MMAAA? We'd prefer if you pronounced it mmm And what does that stand for? The Maritime Mexican Mixed Martial Arts Athletic Alliance Android Association. mmm Like you just take a sip of your favorite drink. Maybe Nas Active Energy, you can buy it with your money. GSP, what are the goals of your association? I think we laid that out pretty well during our six hour phone call yesterday. We want collective bargaining for the fighters, we want pensions for the fighters, we want medical for the fighters, we want the truth about aliens for the fighters. That's not part of what we- Aliens are still on the table. Bjorn, let me ask you, there are two other organizations that have similar goals and are trying to do similar things with the same groups of people. Are you at all concerned that the three of you might end up getting in each other's way and ultimately hurting your progress towards your goals? Tommy, that is a great question. And let me answer that question with a question to you. How could a baby fall out of a 20-story building onto the ground and live? I don't. The baby fell out of a ground floor window. See, you thought that because I said 20 stories, that the baby was at the top. Great question, Tommy. Great question. What the fuck just happened? George Bjorn has a bit of a reputation in the MMA community. Did that concern you and the other fighters when you asked him to come on board? Not at all, Tommy. Hear what you have to understand. Have you ever seen Demolition Man? George, you must not know a goddamn thing about me to ask that question because I've modeled 19% of my life after Demolition Man. Continue! Okay, well, in the beginning, before Sylvester Stallone jump out of the helicopter, he say, it take a maniac to catch one. So we figure if we're gonna do this, we need a promoter on board. Someone who know the business. Someone who understand how to sucker people. Someone who is just a really not a good guy. Someone that is willing to fuck other people for his own. Okay, that's probably enough, George. All right, well, best of luck, guys. Connor, a representative from Floyd's camp, says they're not impressed that you got a boxing license. I don't give a fuck. I'm the biggest name in a boxing game right now, and I haven't had one fight. Google the word boxing, and the first thing that comes up is Connor McTwo belts. I already changed the game. They should be thanking me for saving that boom sport. Fucking boxing pay-per-view selling like their FS2 prelims. Nobody gives a fuck about boxing unless Conor McGregor's involved. Floyd's paydays are over. He knows he needs me. Vegas needs me. They can fucking beg for it and kiss my brutal mollies. Then maybe I'll think about saving them. So are you interested in boxing? I'm interested in lots of things. I got a pilot's license just the other day. After this workout, I might get a forklift license. Why the fuck not? I'm rich as fuck. I can do whatever the fuck I want. Anything else? Fucking soak my huge Irish balls. All right then. Super Sage. Great day to be jacked as fuck, huh? It's pretty nice. <laughs> How are you, Mr. Hold? I find myself staring at the wall for hours at a time most days. But let's talk about this apple challenge. What spurred it on? Haha, <laughs> that's funny. Well, Mr. Hold, I was just thinking about that old saying. An apple a day keeps the doctor away, but apples have 23 grams of sugar in them. So, while they may be a tasty treat and have some benefits, you're never gonna look like me eating apples. Just raw kale and boiled chicken pretty much every day for the rest of your life. Haha, <laughs> so I thought, well, apples need another reason to exist still, so why not destroy them in awesome feats of strength? 
to make the day a little bit better for some supermodels. Haha. <laughs> hey, you sold me, Sage. Keep being awesome, young man. I hope you get beyond your crippling unhappiness, Mr. Hold. I seriously doubt that. Super Sage North cut, everybody. I hate apples. Haha. <laughs> See you tomorrow, fight fans.